Hello, this is Steve with Hydrogen for Health. Today I have another special video for you. This is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. What you see in front of you is six hydrogen water bottles. All three of these bottles put hydrogen into your water. But what you don't know is which one of these bottles is safe for you. Not all of them are safe for you. And when I say they're not safe for you, I mean some of these bottles are making chlorine and ozone gas and they're putting it into your water. So three of these bottles use a technology called PEM technology and three of these bottles use a technology just called straight electrolysis technology. The bottles that use straight electrolysis technology will generate chlorine and ozone gas and put it into your water. And as this gas is being generated, chlorine and ozone is also being generated. It's being generated on the positive plate. When I say positive plate, you can see here I have two electrode plates. These are the plates that are used in a straight electrolysis to make a hydrogen and oxygen gas. It splits the water, which is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. On the positive plate, if there's any salts in the water, which all water has salts, or chlorides, the salts and chlorides will be converted into chlorine and ozone on this plate. So when the, both of these plates are in the water together, you get hydrogen off the negative plate, you get oxygen off the positive plate, but you also will be getting chlorine and ozone. And these vendors that are selling these bottles to you, they know that this happens, but they're hiding it from you. In PEM technology, what you have is your two plates, positive and negative, just like before, but in between the plates, they have what's called a membrane. And this membrane is non-permeable, so nothing gets through this membrane. They put it in between the plates, like so, and your hydrogen is generated on this negative plate, and they put the negative plate in contact with the water, so that only hydrogen is being going up into your water. And the positive plates, which is separated, they have it separated into a different chamber so it captures the chlorine, the ozone, and the oxygen. And what they do in the PEM bottles is they exhaust that out the bottom of the bottle. So none of that is going into your water. So if you have a bottle that uses PEM, you know it's going to be safe for you. You can put any kind of water into that bottle. It has chlorides, salts, and it's going to be safe for you because it's only going to generate hydrogen and put it into your water. So what I have here is, these are chlorine drops. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some drops into each of these bottles, and you're gonna find out right away which one of these bottles is PEM and which ones are straight electrolysis. Let's go ahead and start. Right here, we have the H2 Life. I'm gonna go ahead and put a few drops of this into the water. I just put eight drops in there. We'll do that in every one. Next bottle is the PEM Plus. We'll put eight drops into that. The next bottle we have is the H2 Pro. Put two, three, four, five, six. Just put eight drops in there. Now, if there's chlorine present in the water, this will start to turn yellow and orange. So you can see right away that these three, the water is staying clear. This bottle you can get on Amazon and other places. Go ahead and put eight drops in that. Okay. This one here is also a popular bottle on Amazon. Put eight drops into it. You can see right away the yellow discoloration, which means that there's chlorine in that water. And our last bottle, we can you can find this one on eBay, Amazon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll put the tops back on them.
Okay. Give these a shake. And as you can see, these three straight electrolysis bottles have chlorine in them. We use tap water on this. Just take a look at that. Does that look like something you want to drink? I would never put that into my body. And you take the top off of it and smell it. It smells like pool water. So that's a good sign. If you've got a hydrogen water bottle and you start to get that chlorine pool water smell, you know that that's the chlorine in it and it's not safe for you. Now how do you know if a bottle is PEM or straight electrolysis? One rule of thumb is if it's under $100, probably in the $80 to $40 range, you're probably going to be straight electrolysis. If you're looking for a hydrogen water bottle, look for the words PEM. Usually they're capitalized. PEM is what you want to look for. Those bottles have the technology that I talked about. The technology that has the membrane that separates the plates so that no chlorine or ozone can get in your drinking water. So at Hydrogen for Health, we only carry products